Hi guys, this is a Asus Patphone 2 smartphone. Yes, I'm not. If you're not mistaken, this actually a smartphone, which is appearing to be a tablet, because everything which you're watching it right now on your screen is powered by a smartphone. How it is? So I'll tell you the answer for this. So if you turn it back, you can see that there's a Patphone device, Patphone 2 smartphone, which is just plugged in, and there's a main reason why you're able to see everything right now on your screen. So there are many convertible options which have been provided by Dell and Asus itself in its Patphone 1 version. So if you compare this one with all of those, there's quite different. There are no bendable devices. There are no bendable parts in this which ensures that there's a complete safety for all the hinges and also all the devices connecting to this single tablet. So this is a 10.1 inch screen and we'll now be checking out the Patphone 2 specs. So let's remove the smartphone device. So this is actually Patphone 2 smartphone. This is an LTE capable device and if you see the thickness of the device is quite comparable to that of Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone or it's not no do itself so let's check out first of all and what are the ports this phone has got towards the top you have got the sim card slot and also the 3.5mm jack towards the right you have got the power button and the volume rocker keys and towards the bottom you have got the micro USB slot for which you can probably charge it and also there's a microphone and towards left you have got no options at the back, this phone has got a 13 megapixel camera, which is that of similar optics with Sony Xperia Z has it. Then this phone comes with the inbuilt ICS 4.0.4 firmware, and for there are no updates as of now on Jelly Bean 4.1 updates. So probably we can expect within the coming months of time. The only disadvantage of this phone is this has got no micro SD card slot and also it comes with an option of 16, 32 or 64 GB of internal memory. Apart from that this comes with a 720p display of IPS panel of 4.7 inches of display. And not to forget this phone comes with the Qualcomm's Snapdragon 1.4 GHz processor which features a Snapdragon S4 Pro processor. If you talk of applications, this has got all the Google applications that is Play Music, Play Store, Play Books, etc. So now let's check out on how the camera features are. So this, since this is the first time the phone is being started in the camera mode, it's taking a bit of a time. So as you open the camera on the towards left hand side, you have got a bunch of options like to select a record or to shoot an image. Apart from that, you can select the camera mode, various camera modes, that is normal, panorama, HDR, etc. Then you have got the camera effect and camera resolution can be selected there is exposure apart from that this is also got the camera settings white balance shutter etc so this also got the primary camera for video calling that's 0.7 megapixel camera there's got the flash and you can uncheck or uncheck and this is the picture mode and this option is there for recording. So let's check out how the image has come. Image is quite good and the picture is not pixelating by any manner. That means the camera quality is pretty much good as it uses the same sensor as of Sony's Xperia Z. Last but not the least, if you talk of battery, then this comes with a 2140 of lithium polymer battery which is good enough to last for 18 hours of continuous music 
in 14 hours of continuous talk time. So that's it from us. Take to advise this media for more updates.